Welcome to our new video. It's Sunday, June the 19th, 2022, and today we are discussing the Linux Lite 6.0, the latest version of this lightweight and popular Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. So Linux Lite 6.0 has been recently released and it was May the 31st, 2022 and it's based upon Ubuntu 22.04 LTS, the latest Ubuntu's long-term support release. We installed it right after it was released in the VirtualBox for testing purposes and we will share with you some of our impressions and conclusions. So, if you're new to Linux, just so you know, Linux Lite has been featuring a lightweight XFCE desktop environment, but it's a heavily modified and customized XFCE environment suited for the people transitioning from Windows to GNU slash Linux. In general, Linux Lite is a gateway operating system aimed at people switching to Linux. Linux Lite 6.0, which is the first release in the 6 series, is codenamed Fluorite. It features many changes compared to its predecessor, Linux Lite 5.8, which is based on Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. But in this video, we'll highlight the most important changes, and we believe those changes raise some questions, but more on that later. In a nutshell, uh, what Linux Lite 6.0 brings to the table is a new window theme, and that is Materia theme. And which is a very popular theme for Linux desktops. In Linux Lite 5.8, the default window theme is Adapter Nocta. Now, Linux Lite looks more modern and in our view with this new theme. Another notable change is that now Linux Lite has changed their LibreOffice policy, so to say. So now they have decided to provide the latest version with every release. As you can see here, it's now LibreOffice from the 7 series, which wasn't the case before. Let's see that. Just to remind you, in the Linux Lite 5 series, they have been offering the LibreOffice version from uh, the Ubuntu 20.04 repositories, and uh, that's an old one. Of course, as you can see here, it's from the version 6, 6.4.7.2.
Another significant change is introducing an app that does several jobs at once. And that is, we'll see now, System Monitoring Center. So there you can get the information about your CPU, RAM, disk, network and GPU. You also get performance, processes, startup, services and system tools and information in one easy to use application. And last, but certainly not the least, maybe the most significant change is that now, in Linux Lite 6.0, the default web browser is Google Chrome. As you can see here. Just to remind you, before it was Firefox, the most popular free and open source web browser. As you can see here in Linux Lite version Here they say now that Firefox comes the snap package from Ubuntu and Windows users need to be able to deal with a few package managers as possible. Chrome was the obvious replacement choice. Huge market share, Windows familiarity, just about everything you throw at it just works. So their choice was Chrome. You may agree on it or not, but that's what it is and it brings us to our key point. This is another example of Linux distributions introducing changes because they have issues with Ubuntu snaps. As you may have known, Linux Mint has already blocked snaps completely and they have entered into cooperation with Mozilla in order to avoid using Firefox as a snap package. Additionally, Linux Mint has been working on a version based on Debian, which is called LMDE, trying to provide a user experience that is as close as possible to the one based on Ubuntu. So the question arises if Linux Lite will switch to Debian at a certain point because of the snap issue. Snap packages are basically a good idea in our opinion. Their aim is to make things easier for developers and end users, particularly those non-tech savvy, 
but apps installed from the Snap platform in Ubuntu still have issues with the slow start and not respecting the desktop theme, for instance. And some people believe snaps are still not finished article and should not be delivered to end users yet, at least not in the long-term support releases of Ubuntu. Anyway, let's go back to Linux Lite 6.0. Just so you know, if you're new to Linux, what makes Linux Lite so special and different compared to, let's say, Zubuntu or Ubuntu with XFCE is a thing called Lite Tools. And those are numerous tools Linux Lite offers by default to make your computing experience as easy as possible and especially for beginner users to save them from using the command line. As an example, Let's see their custom light software app. And it enables users to install many programs that would usually require advanced Linux knowledge to be installed. In this way, all you need is a single click to get those apps. Let's take an example. Let's see what app we can install for the video. As usual, let's go with Audacity. Now let's try the app. And that's about it basically. So what's your experience with Linux Lite 6.0? I mean, do you find it user-friendly and polished? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us a like, share it and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.